The race is on for Onondaga County Executive. Incumbent Ryan McMahon is challenged by Democrat and longtime businessman Tony Malavenda. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan joining us live from the polls at West Hill High School, where Republican Ryan McMahon just cast his ballot. Andrew? Christy, the one polling machine here at the high school is almost at 700 voters. One of that, one of those voters includes Ryan McMahon, who got to vote for himself for county executive for the very first time. He's already had the job for a year after he was appointed to finish the last year of Joni Mahoney's term. But in the last 20 minutes or so, Ryan McMahon, the current Republican county executive, was here with his wife and two oldest children, Jack and Madeline. We're told three-year-old Andrew was napping, so he missed out on voting. McMahon is a veteran of elected office from the Syracuse City Council to the Onondaga County Legislature, but this is his first time running countywide. Look, I feel great. I feel confident. I know we've done everything we can do. Uh, we've worked tirelessly at the job to put us in a position where we can make our case to the public. I think we ran a, a good campaign. Uh, we ran against somebody that put $1.2 million in the race, uh, and that's very difficult to run against. Um, and so overall, I think the campaign is where we need it to be, and I think the voters of the county, uh, hopefully tonight, will uh, give us a chance to serve for four more years. McMahon will end his night at the Embassy Suites near Destiny, USA. That's where the Republicans are headquartered tonight. I'm heading there next for 6 o'clock, but the Democrats will be at the Holiday Inn in Liverpool. That's where News Channel 9's Josh Martin is covering the Tony Malavenda and the Democratic campaign. Josh. Andrew, as we've seen, this race has turned ugly in the last three weeks. Attack ads on both sides, and lots of name-calling on both sides. Democratic candidate Tony Malavenda has spent around $1 million of his own money during this campaign. The career businessman hasn't run for office since the early 80s. At 63 years old, he says he's running this race because he feels this county needs more change and to have more transparency. Now, the county executive race is unique that it is, or it seems at least, to be a contested one. Malavenda was confident after casting his ballot early this morning. As far as my chances go, I mean, I'm very positive about it. I know it's going to be close. I suspect that it will be close one way or the other. And um, I think we've got a real solid chance to, to win and actually make a change, make actually make history in this county for the first time. Yep. Circling back to those attack ads, Malavenda says he has no regrets about any of the ads that he's run. He stands by each one of them and their message. Live in the town of Salina, Josh Martin, News Channel 9. All right, thank you, Josh and Andrew. But uh, those are not the only big races we're keeping a close watch on this election day. And we want to stay in Onondaga County with a battle for the district attorney seat. News Channel 9's Jeff Kulikowski is tracking that and other key races in Central New York. And Jeff, DA Bill Fitzpatrick often rarely challenged in past races. How is this one shaping up? Well, Christy and Rod, I think it's safe to say that this would have to be a real upset to unseat this longtime, really entrenched district attorney. However, not just one, but two candidates are actually trying to do just that. Democratic challenger Chuck Keller, all the way on the end there. He's been a defense attorney around here in town for about the past two decades. Also in the fight is Gary Levine, who's running on the conservative and independence lines. He unsuccessfully challenged Fitzpatrick for the GOP party nomination. Unsuccessful there picks up the endorsements of conservative and independence parties. Bill Fitzpatrick in the middle here, um, looking for his eighth term, having first been sworn in back in 1992. Now, let's travel west to Cayuga County, where another longtime district attorney is looking to keep his seat. John Boodleman finishing his third term, 12 years in the DA's seat out there, nearly three decades overall as a prosecutor. Thomas Turturro is a local defense attorney who is running on the Democratic line, looking to become Cayuga County's new DA. Let's swing back to the east where we have a race for Oneida County Executive. Incumbent Republican Anthony Pacente is looking to win his fourth term. He was appointed to the position in 2006, then won election to full four-year terms in 07, 11, and 15, making him now the longest-serving executive in that county. His Democratic challenger, Michael Hennessy, no stranger to politics, he served as Oneida County Legislator for three terms. And that's not all. We have much more we're following, including the race for Onondaga County Comptroller, where incumbent Republican Matt Biedenau is facing a challenge from political veteran Marty Masterpol, who's currently the city of Syracuse auditor. Christine Rod. 
All right, Jeff, thanks very much. Now, a few cities also holding local elections tonight. The city of Fulton looking for a new mayor because Ronald Woodward Sr. is retiring at the end of this year. Four candidates are competing to succeed Mayor Woodward, Democrat Daniel Farfaglia and Republican Dina Michaels, as well as Ethan Parkhurst and David Weber. And for the fourth time, current mayor Mike Quill and Republican Tim Lattimore are squaring off in the race for mayor of Auburn. Lattimore served as mayor from 2004 until 2007 when Democrat Mike Quill took over the office. And the two have been battling for that seat ever since. And there are a couple of town supervisor races we're following closely for you in the town of DeWitt. Longtime Democrat Ed Michaelenko running for another term, first selected to the position back in 2007. He is being challenged in the race by Republican Brian Schultz. No stranger to politics. He's a former DeWitt Town Supervisor Board member. He's a DeWitt Fire Commissioner and currently chairs the Centro Board. In the town of Clay, incumbent Republican Supervisor Damian Ulatowski looks for his seventh term in that seat. His Democratic challenger is Ronald Verwish, born in the Netherlands, immigrating to the U.S. in 1985 and becoming a citizen in 1992. And in the town of Cicero, Former Supervisor Judy Boyke is looking to reclaim the seat she held almost a decade ago facing Republican Bill Meyer, Cicero's Deputy Supervisor and former Onondaga County Legislature Chair. And what election is